And before we start our next run, I still have one more donation to read, which is a 25 euro donation by Genesis saying, Nido needs a good name in that yellow run. Why not RRRG dash dash, like the rival in the older route of blue reverse badge acquisition? I really like that name. It's so easy to pronounce too. Anyway, good luck to all runners on their runs. Great run so far and seems like a chill event I want to attend next year. And with that being read, we're just doing the final checks. Okay, it seems both of our runners are ready, so I'm directly gonna hand it over to both Kin and Eleven and Yume Tsubasa. Sorry, I'm just enjoying the music. Uh, hi, everyone! <laughs> Welcome uh, to Kirby's Dream Lamp 1, which is totally not a hellscape of luck. What Shall do we you just mean? <laughs> <laughs> Shall we just jump in? Uh, I would say so, yeah. Okay. Yep. So, uh, Kirby's Dream Lamp 1 is the very first Kirby game that's ever been made. Uh, because of that, uh, we do not have any copy abilities. And instead, uh, we ha can just like suck up things and swallow them and spit them out. That's about all our abilities. Wow, I'm already behind. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got the frame perfect jump, so ah, uh, damn, that's kind of to be expected. Okay, so this is the first RNG moment. Um, Poppy Bro will either dance after this bomb or throw another bomb. See what we get. I got a bomb. I got a bomb. Nice. So we, we got, got a race, actually. Yay. This is actually a race. Woo. Uh, in this little uh, tidbit, we try and get hit a couple of times. Uh, this is mostly because when you get hit, uh, you get pushed forward a little bit. Like that. Uh, but at the same time, you need to be a little bit careful about what you're um, killing, because the more sprites are on the game, are on the screen, the more lag you're creating. Uh, because they totally wanted to have this game run at 60 FPS on an original Game Boy. That sounds like a great idea. It totally is. So hey, this is the... Tree. Oh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> uh, I usually just talk the tree here, because the tree needs love. <laughs> also, it's Wispy Woods time. Yeah. So with Wispy, Wispy Woods, he can like really screw you over with a lot of puffs. I feel like that's been happening to Yume because oh, I finished gosh. first. <laughs> yeah, also I'm, I'm screwing up because I did not get that. Yeah. Okay. And then we're gonna go. Oh, I'm pausing the game. That sounds like <laughs> a bad idea. And then we're gonna go on to uh, Lolo Castle Lolo. This one actually has some platforming. Um, oh. And some cool strats we could go for, but I think neither of us are going to go for. So uh, if anyone in, in chat is talking about the curry kill, uh, no, we're not doing curry kill. Definitely not, no. <laughs> I have learned it. Uh, I don't like it. So right here, uh, Lolo will push a block, and whenever, like, wherever he appears is completely random. Uh, the best spot is to, like, stand one up, and that way you will basically... Um, will always be able to react quite easily to any luck you have. Yeah, I think the speed is the same because uh, Lolo actually uh, traverses faster on the, on the longer lanes, right? So then we're gonna go into uh, the next boss, Lolo and Lalala. La La. Uh, where they appear is random, except that uh, Lolo will always, like, they'll always like switch sides in a sense. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to get, like, s uh, sections where you're hitting them with two boxes rather than just one. Uh, which I'm not getting good luck for. I'm not sure how Yume is doing. Mm. Ah, well. They each take three boxes, uh, and you kind of want to try and hit them both equally rather than having one die earlier. Because that gives you more chances of doing double box hits. Yeah, Lolo actually spawned twice into my face, so... <laughs> Anyways, this is Float o Islands, also lovingly called Lag Islands. Uh, you might see a lot of slowdown happen happening. Uh, this is totally normal, don't worry about it. The game just can't handle itself. 
most of like the little uh, things you kill or shoot or whatever in this little section is uh, was basically just lag reduction because yeah it's just bad here we're gonna do a little trick I failed it let's see if you may can do it uh, basically if you puff all the way at the top at the right timing uh, with that like large block column uh, you can go through it instantly Ah, uh, Yume doesn't do it either. Oh well. I don't even go for that because two or three lower is uh, a lot easier to actually get it. Fair enough. And then we're gonna go into a nice little section where I can drink. Stay hydrated. You are on a ship. Hopefully you are hydrated. Quite, yeah. <laughs> You've been swimming for a bit as well, so... Anyways, Kirby games wouldn't be Kirby games without a shoot 'em up. Uh, so here we're fighting against Kabula, which is an airship, um, and basically she has like three patterns that she shoots, and it's like you just, yeah, you just kind of wail on her. You try to dodge a couple of bullets, but eventually you've dealt so many, so much damage that it doesn't really matter if you get damaged. And then on to the actual difficult level. Where I actually have to know how to how to platform in this <laughs> game. For instance, like dodging those scarfies over there is really difficult. Uh, a lot of new runners will like just die there instantly or just get sh hit a lot. It can be really tricky. It's also kind of annoying because there's like slight input delays on everything and it just feels a little, Kirby feels really sluggish in this game so you just have to kind of work around how he feels. Also this room is uh, completely like on global cycles so uh, if you know how where you are in the cycles you can really uh, make use of it and to go fast. And then on to Krakow Jr. Uh, Krakow Jr. just like throws a bunch of balls, I think bullets, and then a oh, what'll do, so it's just completely not random. You just have to go through them. Also good music hype. Uh, so in the next section we're gonna grab another cool item that lets us spits infinitely, and I'm gonna try. Background glitch, but I failed. Ah, oh, well. Uh, if you suck it while falling into the water, uh, you can actually go into the background. Uh, it doesn't save any time, it just looks really cool, and I always go for it because it's fun. I actually tried it even though I never did that before. <laughs> oh, but really? I, I didn't get it, sadly. Uh. So here you kind of have to, like, mash the D-pad right a little bit to try and not hit the blocks too much because that'll like slow down your movement and lose you a couple of frames because frames are definitely important in this speed game don't 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 be fooled because we totally don't have the biggest rng boss right here uh so yeah krakow can do one of three things uh launch or throw waddle d's or beam and uh, it'll never repeat the same pattern. Um, so after like every pattern is just like, yeah, you just have to get lucky. And this is just completely random. Everything is equally uh, random. So you just have to wait and hope you can get Waddle Doos. This is usually like or either the great equalizer or the great killer of runs. In this case, it seems like we're both getting similar luck. Yeah, look at that. We equalized right there. Whew, nice. Do we have a moment for a few donations? Uh, yeah. sure. Yeah, okay. First donation I got is by Critical Sid. 10 euros saying, Kinnan told me not to watch, so I'll watch and donate instead. Wow, Sid. And he put his 10 euros to watch the glitch, glitch exhibition for Raymond 3, Hoodlum Havoc. 
Then we also have a 3 euro and 14 cents donation by Thank Goofy. Kirby loves food, so how about some pie? Challenging the chat to join the pie train. And also his donation went towards one of our incentives, which will be the Link to the Past Relay Randomizer Race, and he chose to kill the animals. Okay, so Mount DDD is basically just a gauntlet of all the bosses we've had before with a little bit of gameplay. Also, I hate you, Sid. Uh, and, um... <laughs> just kidding, I love you. Um, so we gotta have to refight all of the bosses, which means we have to fight Krakow again. Uh, what order the bosses you do is... It doesn't matter. You may does a different order than I do. Yeah, except you go for Lolo Lolo first because you are a few pixels closer to that door at the start when yeah. you to DDD. Also, in case you're wondering why my screen is more yellow than Yume's, uh, Yume is playing on the SNES Mini and I'm playing on 3DS VC. Because this game has been ported to just about every single system uh, that Nintendo has. I'm surprised there isn't, like, a Switch version yet. Probably soon, TM. Yeah, probably. With, with like, the Switch Online thing. Oh, yeah. They already put, like, Kirby's Adventure on there, so... There we go. Let's see how... what kind of luck Yume is gonna get. I got a really good Krakow 2 luck. I'm quite happy with it. Not Usually, so well. like, Krakow 2 is <laughs> d mm, worse than Krakow 1. Yep. After defeating all four of the bosses, you can finally fight DDD. Now, DDD is the true RNG hell. Uh, he has four things he can do. He can either throw hammers, he can jump, uh, he can, like, um, start trying to suck you up, or he can, like, lunge at you. Um, the only two moves that give you stars so you can, like, hit him are uh, jump and hammer. And I'm only at one health, so I'm gonna just shut up and focus for a bit. <laughs> Try and not die here. Also, there's an animation cancel if he uses the hammer and you actually hit him in the right frame. Yeah, because usually. Whoa. Got it. Uh, usually, no. there is a small animation that he's taking damage. Which you see now. Okay, get ready on time. Time is like when um, the final hit on DDD happens. Come on, jump. No! Oh no! Ah, oh, I went risky. I thought I had enough space. Ah. Uh, I Way went risky to there. A race. And now, of course, I'm gonna get perfect DDD luck. I honestly have pretty good DDD luck so far. Oh, come on! He did three dives in a row. Four dives in a row! Okay. GG. I'm always too risky on DDD. I should stop doing that. I was set only one minute above my PB. That was terrible. <laughs> I mean, he had terrible Krako too, like, as far as I can tell. Yeah, I had like five cycles each without really getting waddledies. Yeah. There we go. And time. Half a minute difference. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Not too bad. Yeah, um, yeah so 
Usually this is what like the races end up being. Uh, there was like this big tournament and it's just like get lucky and not don't die at DDD and you win. Um, but it's still pretty fun. Um, I do want to give a shout out to the Kerber community because they're awesome people. Uh, if you want to learn this game, don't. Um, <laughs> Best advice ever. But uh, you can try and learn it and just like race it for fun. Uh, there's usually like one or two people that are might want to race you if you ask them nicely and pay them. Um, but don't worry about that. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Yeah, got anything to shout out or anything? Uh, no, I don't really have anything to add, no. Okay, well, awesome. Um, thank you for, for having this awesome little race, and uh, I'll probably be on screen a couple of more times in this marathon. So. Yeah, see. <laughs> <laughs> see you guys around. Thank you very much for that awesome run. I want to close it off with one final Kirby donation. I didn't want to disturb you in the final battle. It's a three euro and 14 cents donation by Wired Wicking saying joining that pie train for the hungry Kirby. And he put his donation towards his game choice for Wend of Gamelon. So thank you very much. In the meantime, we will be setting up for our next game, which will be Pokemon Yellow. So stay tuned, watch some ads, and we'll see you right back. <laughs>